just step up and speak? With your finger? I'm looking for some mad vendors. Oh. I don't know if they're going to show. I got a vendor that's all wound up because we didn't go with them, so now he's sour grapes. Copier vendor. He's been beating up on Steven forever. Now he's beating up on me the last two days. How are you? I'm like, dude, what do you want me to do? Right. <laughs> uh, you didn't get the job, I'm sorry. Yeah. About what? Yeah. Oh, we'll see. Uh, I hope this works. Let's see. Stephen to come to the meeting today. I'm like, well, tell him it's at seven o'clock and give him the address. <laughs> what happened to the superintendent? He retired. Mm -hmm. the same people do. that Mason uses. And I talked to Tony, and Tony's like, their equipment's terrible. <laughs> it's Xerox. They ain't here. I don't think they're here. <laughs> See. <laughs> Grass looks good though, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> <laughs> Yard looks good. And a ponytail. What's and a ponytail. <laughs> I'm digging the ponytail. I got my Silas going here. I'm digging it, man. I miss my long hair. You miss your ponytail? I, I grew my hair. Well, I didn't get as long as Martin did, but yeah, I, I didn't a couple years ago I had it long, and then back in college I grew it real long. But... Good bike. I'm a good biker. There's bad bikers and good bikers. I'm a good biker, yeah. yeah. I'm not a felon. I'm not <laughs> good evening, everybody. Um, so before we open the public hearing tonight, uh, we're, we are working through uh, a new video and sound system that we had installed to try to make it better for those who watch at home and those who are here in person. So we'll, if we have any sound snags, um, Mr. Collins is here to help us work through those, so be, be patient with us as we work through trying to make this a little bit better experience for everybody. Um, the first part of the meeting tonight is an open uh, public hearing. Um, it's a public meeting on the issue of the reemployment of Dawn Gasper. Um, she's a counselor in the school district who is going, uh, who's wanting to retire with STRS and then return, um, and the district would reemploy her. So. I'm going to open the public hearing if there's anybody who'd like to speak uh, in favor or um, in opposition. All you have to do is stand up to the podium, um, give Mr. Gonda your name, and um, have your three minutes to, to speak. So I'm going to open the public hearing at this time if anybody would like to step up and speak. Since there's no public comments on uh, the rehiring of uh, Ms. Gasper, then I will close the hearing of the public and we'll get started with our regular board meeting. Uh, Mr. Gonda, we opened it at 7 o'clock and closed it at 7.01 with no comments. Um, so uh, can I have a roll call, please, Mr. Gonda? Uh, Mrs. Grice? Here. Mr. Hamlin? Here. Mr. Nemish? Here. Mrs. Horvath? Here. Mrs. Elmer? Would you rise and join me in the pledge, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I need a motion to adopt the agenda for tonight, please. I'll move. Mrs. Grice? I'll second. Second by Mrs. Horvath. Roll call, please. Uh, Mrs. Grice? Yes. Mr. Hamlin? Yes. Mr. Nemich? Yes. Mrs. Horvath? Yes. Mrs. Elmer? Yes. Thank you. I need a uh, motion to accept the reading of the minutes from the March regular meeting. I'll move. Mr. Hamlin? I'll second. Second by Mrs. Elmer? Roll call, please. Mr. Hamlin? Yes. Mr. Nemish? Yes. Mrs. Horvath? Yes. Mrs. Elmer? Yes. Mrs. Grice? Yes. Thank you. Uh, next thing on the agenda tonight under item C, communications and or visitors to the board, uh, Mr. Power.
Next thing on the agenda tonight is our Panther Pride Award recipient. So I think I'm going to do the first one, and Mrs. Grice is going to do the second one, I believe. Right?
I know I say it every month, but this, uh, this portion and then at the end where we do our student achievement report really is my favorite part of the, of the agenda each month to be able to recognize students and staff who, uh, who do extraordinary things every single day. Um, at this time, the next thing on the agenda is community comments on agenda items. I don't see Mrs. Coates, so I'm going to defer. No one has done that. All right, thank you. Uh, next thing on the agenda tonight under uh, item E is treasurer's reports and financial reports. Mr. Gonda? Yes, I asked for the board's approval of the uh, monthly financial reports um, for March, uh, excuse me, month ending March 2022. Um, bank reconciliations, financial summaries of each individual fund a general fund revenue and two different budget year reports for the general fund. I'll move. This is Grace. Do you want to say anything more about that? Once we get a second, I'm going to ask Mr. Gonda if he wants to give us some details. Oh, okay. Yeah, second. 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 second by Mr. Hamlin. Mr. Gonda? Yes, uh, we have the individual fund summary for each fund um, located within our reports. We have, of course, our bank reconciliation. Um, we received uh, the majority of our taxes for this uh, first half uh, collection period. Uh, we'll have some coming in April yet. Actually, you'll see in the next month reports. And then we have our uh, two different budgetary reports um, that are through the end of March for the general fund as we run, get closer to winding up this uh, particular fiscal year. Any questions or discussion? Roll call, please. Uh, Mr. Hamlin? Yes. Mr. Beamish? Yes. Mrs. Horvath? Yes. Mrs. Elmer? Yes. Mrs. Grace? Yes. Next under item two, I ask for the board's approval of the contracts as listed. Your motion, please. I'll move. Mrs. Grace? I'll second. Second by Mrs. Elmer. Uh, I know there's two of them tonight. Mr. Yes. Gonda, could you uh, share a little bit about each one, please? Yes, actually the first one is with the, uh, actually a, a co-agreement with the Warren County Board of Commissioners, um, which is helping us out greatly. This is for a equipment uh, co-location. We're actually gonna be putting some of our equipment on one of their towers that they already have. Um, this equipment's for our um, two-way radio system for our transportation department. Um, it's in the right location and we'll get the good reception that we need. So it's um, very grateful for them to let us be able to put our equipment on the tower that they already have. And then the second uh, contract listed is actually Modern Office Methods. That is um, our copier and printer agreement. Um, we've been with Modern Office Methods before. Um, we actually were looking into our contract and I gotta, I gotta thank our tech director, Stephen Collins. I don't know if he's in here. Might be in the other room. Uh, without Stephen, we wouldn't have got this rolling. Um, you start looking at some other vendors and different things. We're looking at competition. We started looking at our own agreement and actually renewing this contract. Um, Modern Office Methods came through very well for us and we're looking at about, a, about an $89,000 savings a year um, at this point. Changing, we changed some of the, we looked at the history and the method or the amounts of uh, copiers, black and white and printing that we're doing is in color. And uh, actually we want to try to reduce that some more actually the number of copies we do. but. Um, Re relocating those amounts, um, looking at our equipment. We'll be getting new equipment as soon as it comes in. I'm guessing around September, in the August, beginning of September time frame, um, it'll be Canon equipment. Um, but overall, like I said, we're gonna save about almost 89,000 a year, and about 443,000 during the five year period. So we're, we're real happy about that. And I gotta thank Steven for getting that ball rolling on that. That's fantastic. Wow. Um, before we vote, I just wanna uh, say a couple things. First of all, I wanna thank the Warren County Commissioners publicly for uh, working with us. For those of you in the audience, um, the relay tower we use for uh, our transportation department for buses to communicate back and forth is located at the top of the old radio tower, which used to be the radio station at the high school, old high school site up at what is now Salem site. Um, and we've been wanting to take that tower down and remove it safely, especially since we have a new building close to that building now. And, um, but we couldn't remove that tower until we found somewhere else to put the transportation communication relay somewhere. And uh, the, the county commissioners were nice enough to work with us and help us find a location that's high enough and centrally located enough for us to be able to move, move that uh, communication piece there and then thus be able for some, maybe sometime this summer to contract to remove the tower. Right, Mr. Blake, I got it right? Okay, perfect. So, um, and again, I also want to thank publicly Stephen for us to be able to save north of $400,000 over a five-year period of time just on copy services is uh, certainly to be commended and uh, again, um, goes into what we do every single day. So I appreciate both of those two people. Um, anybody else have any questions or discussion? Uh, two quick comments. 
Just to clarify, the tower is no cost to us? Correct. Use of the tower? No cost, correct. Okay, so that contract is really just an agreement that just an agreement. To exactly. it free to us. That's correct. So, yeah. Big yeah our only cost to would be our own equipment that we're putting on it, of course, but no cost for rental or anything, or lease. Right, okay. So, uh, again, a big thank you to Warren County Commissioners for allowing us to do that. Um, the second cost is just, um, Stephen's not getting a raise, is he? No. <laughs> Yeah, he wants to spend more tech stuff, but I'd say Fair enough. Not a savings then. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyone else? Uh, we're going to go ahead and just vote on both of them together since that's the way the motion was. So um, roll call, please. Mr. Nemish? Yes. Mrs. Horvath? Yes. Mrs. Elmer? Mrs. Grice? Yes. Mr. Hamlin? Yes. Thank you. That's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Gonda. Um, next item on the agenda is item F, superintendent's reports and recommendations. Mr. Power? Need a motion, please. So moved. Mrs. Elmer? I'll second. Mrs. Horvath? Any questions or discussion or anything you want to add, Mr. Power? These are uh, most of the new, new personnel here are hiring for the next school year. Uh, you also notice on the list uh, Kevin Mons is an increasing number of people who want to volunteer in our schools. It's a really long list, and that's a great sign. Any questions or discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Horvath? Yes. Mrs. Elmer? Mrs. Grice? Yes. Mr. Hamlin? Yes. Mr. Nemish? Yes. And there's a second personnel item there for the board and superintendent to ask the board to approve the second personnel item for the superintendent and uh, number two personnel. Need a motion, please? I'll move. Mrs. Grace? I'll second. Second by Mrs. Horvath. Roll call, please. Mrs. Elmer? Mrs. Grace? Yes. Mr. Hamlin? Abstain. Mr. Nemish? Yes. Mrs. Horvath? Move. Mrs. Grace? Second. Second by Mr. Hamlin. <coughs> yeah, you want to give a little bit of detail? Please? Sure, sure. Uh, within, the, within the structure of our, our contract agreement with LMTA, there's a sick leave bank where staff can uh, join that sick leave bank and contribute a day of their sick leave to that bank. And then if there's a circumstance where they exhaust their sick leave and that they're in serious health circumstance, uh, there's a committee that can, they can apply to to get advancement of sick leave. Uh, it's a, a benefit, no cost to the district, uh, but a benefit to anybody that might end up in a serious health circumstance. Uh, in the past, uh, people initiated joining the sick leave bank, and we've had a couple of circumstances where, in the last few years, where staff thought they belonged to the sick leave bank, and then they got a new turned out that they had not joined the sick leave bank. The language change here is that automatically everybody is enrolled in the sick leave bank, and if you wish not to belong to it, then you initiate an opt-out. And what we're voting on tonight is a, a, a memorandum of understanding between the district and the teachers association, right? So they're, That's correct. they're on they're, board. They've already Any questions or discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Grice? Yes. Mr. Hamlin? Yes. Mr. Nemich? Yes. Mrs. Horvath? Yes. Mrs. Elmer? Yes. Thank you. Need a motion, please? I'll move. Mr. Hamlin? I'll second. Second by Mrs. Grice. Anything you want to add, Mr. Power? Any questions or discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Hamlin? Yes. Mr. Nemish? Yes. Mrs. Horvath? Yes. 
Mrs. Elmer? Mrs. Grace? Yes. Thank you. Next, I'd ask the board to approve the Building Act Summer Athletic Field Trip to Whitsitt. We need a motion, please. I'll move. Mr. Horvath? I'll second. Second by Mr. Hamlin. Anything you want to add here, Mr. Power? Yeah, this is not typically something that we've done in the past, but on the advice of legal counsel. I actually think it's a good process. I think it helps us to know as much as we can when there's groups of people off campus at other locations in the, in the summer or otherwise. I agree. So I appreciate doing it that way. Um, anybody have any questions about the two field trips or any discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Newman? Yes. 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 Uh, next thing is uh, under item G, new business, is the Warren County Career Center report. Right. I love giving this. Um, board members recognize and thank our retired custodian, Don McFarland, for his 42 years of service to the district. Really, it was 43, but um, they could have gone wrong, so it's 42 on the record. Uh, satellite supervisors Ken Mahone, McCone and Robin Frederick presented to the board about the success of the satellite programs in Warren County Career Center Partner District. Enrollment is up 800 students this year in the program. All six partner districts at, and at Fenwick. Several of the teachers and programs have been recognized with awards, including Project Lead the Way instructor Nick Otto at Waynesville, a 2022 Project Excellence winner. And that's unusual for one of the, the uh, districts to recognize one of our teachers at the Career Center as a Project Excellence winner. So that was really nice. Um, the board approved hiring of Joel King as superintendent of the Career Center effective August 1st, 2022. He was present along with his present along with his family to thank the board for their support. The board approved a resolution for resolution, I can't talk tonight, uh, for an adult education maintenance repair or building program course of study. The board accepted donations of 19 pairs of bunker pants and 10 bunker coats from the Franklin Township Fire Department for our fire science program. Our OSBA les legislative liaison, Lisa Babb, reported on various legislation in Ohio at the federal level that affects career tech um, education, including a bill that requires career advising to include career fields with associate degrees and certi certificates and statewide apprentice apprenticeship programs. This is something that's becoming very prevalent in career tech and also in re our regular school districts, the apprentice programs that gives us a student a, a step up when he goes out to find a job. Um, I uh, reported on student accomplishments in our career technical student organizations. Uh, and um, we have an IT grad, Malcolm Dolce, who is working as an IT technician for the US Army Corps of Engineers. Also, two groups of students presented at University of Cincinnati IT Expo with their cybersecurity projects. And they don't ask just anybody to come there to, to present, so that was a plus. Superintendent Rick Smith reported that almost all high school programs for 2020, 2022 and to 2023 school year are at capacity, and a junior welcome night at both campuses will be held on April the 28th. And I thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Grace. Uh, next thing under item two, board report, student achievement. Um, Mrs. Horvath? So these are the April 2022 student achievements. Little Miami is excited to share the news of two Little Miami High School students earning high distinctions within the Girl Scouts, with Madeline Highfield earning her gold and silver award and Madeline Summers earning the gold award. Uh, Madeline Highfield earned the Civil Silver Award for her creation of a STEM exploration website targeted toward middle school girls. And Maddie Summers earned her gold award with her work to bring attention to the declining population of monarch butterflies. Congratulations, ladies. 
Congratulations also to the Little Miami High School Select Choirs and Symphonic Band, who had successful performance at the District 13 Band and Choir Competitions. Both Little Miami High School Select Choirs and the Symphonic Band qualified for the state competition with their impressive efforts and great display of hard work. Congratulations to our entire Little Miami, Little Miami Music Program. And then Mrs. Bryce touched on this. The IT Expo Committee at the University of Cincinnati has given 11th grader Gabriel Kelly the, op the opportunity to showcase his cybersecurity project that he's been completing outside of school at UC's annual IT Expo. So he presented remotely on Tuesday, April 12th. Um, two Little Miami Middle School sixth graders, Kane Estep and Braden Kendrick, have won the first place prize in the year-long stock exchange game that had them competing against elementary students from across the, straight, the state. Braden and Kane learned about real-world investing while playing this game in which they were given a chance to actively participate in the fundamental aspects of the stock market. And they were actually invited to the university to give a 10-minute presentation about what they learned. So congratulations to them and Mrs. Statton, their teacher, for a great opportunity. I, I should have had that one. My high school class in junior high, one of them was, yeah. Thank you, Mrs. Horvath. Um, next thing is uh, our next board meeting date. Um, and Mr. Power, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's gonna be on Thursday, May the 26th. Due to a scheduling conflict, we're not gonna meet on Tuesday night. Um, we're going to meet here on Thursday night, May the 26th at 7 p.m. for a regularly scheduled monthly meeting. And then for those of you that are interested, graduation is then on the 29th, right? On the 29th of May at the Nutter Center. And, and thank you. Um, Mrs. Morgan, any community comments on non-agenda items? All right, step up, Mr. Sheldon, to the podium there, if you would, please.
Thank you, Mr. Shelton. Appreciate it. That's it. All right. Um, with that being said, I need a motion to adjourn, please. I'll move. Mrs. Grace. I'll second. Mrs. Elmer. Roll call, please. Mrs. Grice? Yes. Mr. Hamlin? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes.